All right, we got the best man up. See some resemblance going. I want to know what happened with this mustache situation, because on Monday you had one, and now you don't have one. Oh, well, oh, okay. Make some noise for Kevin, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, Lauren, she did an amazing job on her speech. Uh, just to let y'all know, mine will be nothing like that. I'm trying to get through as the best that I can. First of all, I want to thank all y'all coming tonight, uh, driving all the way out here. Y'all all look great, uh, besides that table right there. But... Uh, <laughs> Anyways, I wrote a little speech, and uh, whatever they put in the food, there's a lot of onions, so uh, I might tear up a little bit, but I'm trying my very best. All right, here I go. Hi, how y'all doing? Some of y'all are probably wondering. Gosh, <laughs> this freaking sucks. Some of y'all are probably wondering just who I am and why me and the groom look so much alike. I'm here to give you a little background. Well, me and Kyle just happens to be twin brothers for the ones who don't know. As you can tell, we both now are bald, fat, and ugly and look just like my dad. <laughs> Unfortunately, to the contrast, Kyle is five minutes older than I am, and throughout our whole life, he has always let me know that. Sorry, I'm shaking. It didn't matter what it was, he always had to refer to me as his little brother. Though I'm his little brother... He has always looked up to me starting from such a young age. <laughs> I was always the more athletic one, better looking, most likely to succeed, you name it. You can go all the way back to high school, and Coach Biggins back there, he can attest. I achieved so many awards in football, baseball, or even, or even at the powerlifting meets where they always said, first place, Kevin Stone. Second place, Kyle Stone. <laughs> Heck, playing in the front yard with Dad, Dad always told me. You're better than Kyle, Kev. <laughs> For whatever reason, the only thing he had me at was eating. By, you can tell by looking at him. <laughs> Kyle, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Kyle and I have been best friends from day one. We've literally done everything together. Sports, driving to school in the same Toyota pickup with 3,000 miles, 300,000 miles. <laughs> Doing crazy things right with all these buddies in the 903, going to the deer lease, skiing, setting the hog trap, bulling deer heads, scrubbing the buses back in high school, and hauling hay with Grandpa. <laughs> Mom and Dad always said we had a unique language. Woo <laughs> Being that we're twins brothers, people could never understand what we were saying. But one person could, that was Kyle. <laughs> Growing up, my dad was a nerd. He loved... <laughs> he loved to read books, which helped him to this day with the English language. He, he always told me and Kyle, y'all boys need to read. To help out the way y'all talk, because y'all dumber than a boat arch stump. I can still remember we hated reading so bad our junior year in Ms. Johnson's class. We took an AR test to see what your reading level was. We may or may not purposely failed it all the way to the third grade. <laughs> so we could watch the Harry Potter movies and Friday Night Lights and take that test instead of reading a dang book. <laughs> we were too busy to relax and read. We had to hurry up and get home, ride fullers over to Scott's house, or try to hit golf balls through Mom and Dad's windows. <laughs> For whatever reason, the girls always seemed to think I was a more sexier stone brother. <laughs> I all, throughout my life, I always had a girlfriend. My last girlfriend, which is now my wife, my beautiful wife. <laughs> Woo! We've been married going on seven years now. We got two beautiful kids, the ones y'all see going everywhere around here. Though I love my life, I can still remember the night I got married. <laughs> While I was on my anniversary, there was something different. I told my wife, as weird as it may seem, I miss my brother. It's the onions. <laughs> I was 23 when I got married. Up till then, me and Kyle still lived at home. Throughout our life, I never left his side, which he still lived to to this day. I, I had to divorce Kyle and move on with my life. <laughs> oh. Woo. <laughs> 
now that I've been married and moved on, we still talk every day, though we might not see each other, so it helps. I, I still remember my brother told me he'd gone on a date with a firewoman from the city of Richardson. Fire, what, whatever, sounds right. <laughs> I don't want no hard feeling around here. <laughs> Though I was happy he was going on a date, <laughs> I, was, I was happier that he's going on a date with a woman. <laughs> my dad and all my best friends up here, they can attest, even though I love my brother, he always seemed a little gay or feminine, the guys. <laughs> I don't mean that rude to nobody, I promise you. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, he seemed a little gay or feminine than the guys from Quinlan. He was acting like the boys from Edgewood or Wolf City. <laughs> when he met Avery, I could tell he was happy. First thing he said, she was real pretty, Kev, and she's a good Christian girl. Over the past two years, <laughs> Kyle and Avery have grown close. So close that I thought I would never see in my entire life my brother wear skinny jeans and Sperry's to an outing. He's normally socking and a crocking. <laughs> Though my brother might be a city slicker now, I'm happy that he found the woman of his dreams and one day raised a family like his little brother. <laughs> and this is to you, Avery. Avery, all I can say is you got your hands full, for sure. You're marrying a fat pit bull that has a heart of gold. <laughs> and he can turn into the Hulk in the matter of seconds. And watch out for them clothes hangers. All kidding aside, I'm very happy for y'all. I'm thankful God has brought y'all together at this time. And I'm thankful that we're celebrating this marriage with two people that I love. <laughs> I'm shaking. I wish y'all nothing but the best in the future. And please let him off that leash a little bit. Let him still come hunt with me and come home time to time. Once again, thank y'all all for driving all the way up here. And uh, this is the gorgeous, most fanciest place I've ever been to. But... <laughs> Y'all travel safe on the way home. <laughs>